Professor Marston and the Wonder Woman. I absolutely had no idea what to expect before I saw this film, but I will say now that I'm glad I did. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Professor Marston and the Wonder Woman. I really do appreciate it. But before I get into the review, help me out. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click the bell as well so you can be notified when I make uploads. And also give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So like I said in my intro, I had I had no idea what to expect. I didn't look at any reviews either. I just kind of wanted to go into this fresh kind of cold. I barely even saw any trailers but i'm a fan of wonder woman and you know i heard through the grapevine that it was a good movie and i'm glad that i did finally check it out because it came out last week and wasn't able to see it early and one thing for me is i really do appreciate an unconventional film and what i mean by that is just something that is different than everything else or something that's abnormal and also the reason why i say abnormal because if you are a psychologist you know, you probably don't feel like there is a such thing as abnormal because I've took a couple of courses before, you know, when I was in school about psychology. And I think the number was at the time that 48 percent and people in the population are abnormal. So if it's that many, then there really isn't anything wrong with it. There isn't really a difference between normal and abnormal. It's just that the stereotypes and the structure that the people in power have created that most of us try to live to in society. And this movie does, you know, take that concept and just smashes it to smithereens. And I'm really am glad that they did that. And also other ways that it's so unconventional is the editing of the film and the way that the time and the film transitions back from 1945 or 1940 back to like 1928, 1932, 1934, 1940 and back and forth to 1945. And the way it just jumps back, back and forth between those time zones um, it's just really spectacular. The editing behind all of it, it just really just pulled you in and just kind of glued your eyes to the screen. And I really did love it. Something else that I love is the acting. The acting across the board is some of the best I've seen all year, especially for Luke Evans. Luke Evans, I would be pretty upset if he didn't get a, an award or at least some recognition or nomination. Uh, when it comes to award season later on this fall. And of course, this was the perfect time to release this movie because it deserves all the accolades, all the kudos. And like, my goodness gracious, this film has so much passion, um, especially between, I forgot her name, uh, Rebecca Hall. And I remember Rebecca Hall in a movie, what was it, Deep Blue Sea that came out in 1999. Uh, yeah, well, I think it was 99. That was when I was in high school, like a freshman or sophomore. And her role in that movie like really pissed me off, you know, and kind of ever since then, I just really haven't been a fan of her as an actress, even though what she was doing in Deep Blue Sea was just a role. Just, I was like, ah, you were stupid in that movie. But in this movie here, like, like uh, this is a based on a true story. Um, like, man, I have so much respect for her because her and her, she's married to Luke Evans or whatever. Her name is uh, Elizabeth Marston and his name is uh, William Moulton Marston. And the relationship that they have is just so honest. Not only is their relationship so honest, but this whole movie is honest. This is the most honest movie that I have ever, like one of the, I don't want to say that I've ever seen this, one of the most honest movies that I've ever seen. And it just, that, by doing that, it just makes the film that much better. And they are psychologists. And what something that I, I, I want to do more research on them, because one thing about their characters and the way they were portrayed in this movie is they face every obstacle full on and do not run away. They truly know how to express themselves and how to articulate their words and try to come to a common denominator to solve whatever problem that they may come in contact with. And they kept doing this throughout the film over and over and over, especially Elizabeth Marson played by a, a Rebecca Hall. I mean, seriously, she was just straight up. No filter. You know what I'm saying? She was like, look, I know you're going to be working with my husband, uh, but don't smash my husband. I mean, we can get along great. This can be a great work relationship. Just one thing I don't want from you is just don't smash my husband. If you don't smash my husband, things, everything's going to be great. And we're going to have a great time. Like, who comes at people like that? You know what I'm saying? That's like unheard of. You know, like usually if you're going to say something like that, you have a reason to. But like this is like doing the interview in the first five minutes. So immediately I was like, OK, I like her. You know what I'm saying? She is dope. And that just goes to show just how great Elizabeth Marson really was. 
Um, she is no longer here. She um, she lived up to 100. I, I think at the end it said that she passed away in like 2015 or 2017. So she lived a long full life. But man, her character was like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? You do not want to mess with this lady. And the, 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 the relationship that they had. Like it, it, it's they just treated each other fairly, and I will say that I, I I'm not gonna necessarily say I agree with their relationship, and I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but I respect it. And one thing that their relationship did work out in this movie is because they are just so honest with each other and know how to express themselves. And a lot of times relationships fail, not just because people fall out of love for each other or have a disdain for each other. It's just because people don't know how to communicate properly at all and um there was not a problem for this couple i mean they had their ups and downs uh, but you know no um that that just was not an issue for this couple right here and just the science behind everything and the psychology of like what luke evans character was going through william marston and how he used it and put it on the page for wonder woman it was like was this brilliant and i already love wonder woman as a character strong female character from the amazons but like i was just blown away and mesmerized like wow that's why you know wonder woman has the lasso of truth that's why she has the bands that's why she uses a rope that's why she is dressed a certain way this is why her hair is black like it, it puts all that out on the forefront. Just things that I never would have thought about. Like that, this thing happened in this man's life to where he wanted to put on page, and he just has so much damn passion. Like real talk. And then the, the what even boosted the passion up to a higher level was the score of this movie. Like one of the best scores of this year, and it really did intensify a sex scene in this movie too. I mean, like. Guys, it, you know, you pl please go see this movie. It was written and directed by uh, Angela Robinson. She wrote and directed this film. Um, she also did uh, True Blood and some other stuff that I've never heard of. And you, if you want to go check that out, you know, look it up. But this movie, you know, was a masterpiece. Like one of the best, one of the better movies uh, that I've seen this year. It, it is a true cinematic masterpiece. If I had to rate this movie out of a one out of 10, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Yes, a 10 out of a 10, a perfect cinematic masterpiece. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Professor Marston and the woman Wonder, Wonder Woman? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Come on my subscribers so you can get all the content I have to provide. You can also click the bell so you can be notified. Also, guys, go to my website. Check me out there. I do have written reviews. You can bookmark the site and also look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen. And I also made it very easy for you guys by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Professor Marston and the Wonder Woman starring Luke Evans, directed by Angela Robertson. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.